Ian, bonus point victory tonight. Uh, unusual circumstances, very muddy, but you must be delighted with the outcome. Um, yeah, pretty strange one. Pretty happy with the second half. Um, I think you know we were in a tough position and we weren't happy with a lot of aspects of our game in the first half. And to be fair to the boys, I thought the second half was a, a much better performance in yeah very, very testing conditions. Uh, and those conditions, how hard is it to take something out, out of a game like that and, and use it in... Uh, forthcoming games such as Bedford? Yeah, it's really difficult. It's a tough one to review. Um, you know, there's times you couldn't recognise who was on, uh, you know, which jersey was which. We had to change at half time. That helped for about 10 minutes and that was about it really. So, yeah, it was a, you know, at times it was a little bit farcical. Um, but yeah, there will be elements in the game that I think are important maybe around, you know, how we kicked, our kick chase, uh, our breakdown work, some of our collision work. And I think that's always important in any game. Um, and the pitch got pretty cut up tonight. So I think, um, you know, we have to properly prepare with the weather that's coming in over the next four or five days that we're going to be playing on a similar surface next week. So I I suppose uh, that was a good dry run for that tonight, or excuse the pun, not really a dry run, but a wet run for it tonight, yeah. And we, we talked about momentum during the week and kicking on from Pirates, and that's happened, that's two wins in a row, and uh, that's good news. It is. Look, we were struggling for, you know, we were struggling a little bit for form, but you know, a couple of close results got away from us, um, and probably two really poor performances in the middle of that poor run. So I think it's important that we broke the cycle. We broke it in a, in a very, very tough earned victory against Pirates, and you know, we, a win is a win tonight. It's one of those cliches, but it was important that we, you know, we turned it around in the second half, and it becomes a habit, and, and you know, it, it builds a little bit of confidence, it builds a bit of momentum, and it certainly won't do us any harm. And it was a game that we badly needed and a big weekend next weekend the beer festival here for the six nations and then bedford on sunday bedford are in really good form it's going to have to be a big performance from the boys yeah i think bedford are probably you know one of the form teams in the league and um you know they're really one of the big three now and we play we play all the big three over the next uh, over the next month so it's an incredibly tough period for us you know as we've alluded to our squad has been tested over the last period um we had the opportunity to rest a few today and that Richmond game being cancelled hopefully means that you know we're reasonably healthy going into that game against Bedford. But yeah, they were white hot against Leeds. They were very impressive. Um, you know, a 20-point victory against, against another top four side shows exactly where they are. And I think their strength is the balance. You know, they've got some incredibly exciting backs, but the steel they have and the power and pace that they have in that forward pack at the moment is impressive. And it will be as big a challenge as we had this year.